The Samsung Galaxy A55 is offering a premium experience at a more affordable price. It's arguably the most high-end mid-range phone from Samsung so far. The A55's design is heavily influenced by Samsung's flagship phones. The company has completely ditched plastic in favor of an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on both the front and back. The metal frame is flat with no curves on the edges of the display or back panel. It's comfortable to hold and use, whether with one hand or two. It's also water and dust resistant, and there's not much to complain about. Well, except for the bezels around the display, which are as big as they were on the Galaxy A54 and make the phone look bigger than it needs to be. The A55 decided to go big with a 6.6 inch display. It's got a super AMOLED panel that's bright, crisp, and great for all your video needs. The screen provides a great viewing experience with colors that look mostly natural and wide viewing angles. The display is bright enough for both indoor and outdoor use, and it's good for watching both SDR and HDR content. The auto brightness could use some tweaking though. Indoors, it tends to play it safe and keep things dimmer than you might like. The Galaxy A55 has a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main rear camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a five megapixel macro camera, and a 32 megapixel front camera. Overall, the main camera works well. Photos taken during the day have good detail and dynamic range, and night shots are cleaner because of the strong noise reduction. The A55 doesn't always turn on night mode automatically when it should, so it's best to switch to night mode manually in those cases. The ultra wide camera is great in daylight, but not that good in low light or at night. The macro camera is limited by its low resolution and lack of stabilization, making it hard to take steady photos without something to rest your elbows on. It's a shame that Samsung still isn't including zoom cameras in its mid-range phones. You can record 4K videos at 30 FPS. The video quality is decent in daylight. The selfie camera hasn't changed in four years, but it still gets the job done, especially in good lighting. When it comes to performance, the Galaxy A55 stands out from its predecessors. It's equipped with the Exynos 1480 chipset boasting impressive specifications, including a GPU with AMD's RDNA graphics architecture. It appears Samsung has ramped up its efforts in software optimization, which pays off with the A55, delivering a user experience that's both fluid and responsive. This phone comes with the latest Android 14 operating system and Samsung's One UI 6.11. This software duo ensures a smooth interface that's easy to navigate. The battery life on the Galaxy A55 is quite impressive. It comes with a 5,000 milliampere battery. The charging speed isn't the fastest. Overall, the Galaxy A55 is a strong contender in the mid-range market, offering a good balance of design, display quality, camera performance, and battery life. It's a smart choice for those who want a phone that feels premium and performs well without the flagship price tag. The Pixel 8 comes with rounded edges and a comfortable shape. It's smaller than the Pixel 7, which is nice, but it's a bit thicker because of the camera bump on the back. It has a great display called the Actua. It's super bright, even in sunlight, which is a big improvement from the Pixel 7. Everything looks sharp and colorful on its 6.2-inch screen. It's a win for outdoor use and watching HDR content. This device boasts a 50 megapixels main wide camera with advanced image processing. In addition, there's a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera with a wider field of view, allowing you to capture more in your shots. The 10.5 megapixels front camera is perfect for selfies and group photos. What sets the cameras apart are the AI driven features. There are few cool AI tools that analyzes group photos and uses generative AI to pick the best shot. This can be a lifesaver when someone blinks or looks awkward in the photo. You can even tap on faces and choose different poses. They can also manipulate your subjects and the background in creative ways, 
You can move elements, change the lighting, and even add or remove objects. Overall, this device produces excellent photos. In well-lit conditions, the colors are vivid and the details are sharp. When it comes to low-light or indoor shots, the Pixel 8 is pretty good. It provides decent results, and with the help of night mode, you can capture great photos even in challenging lighting situations. The Pixel 8's AI isn't just for photos, it also enhances your videos. The Audio Magic Eraser feature removes background noise, allowing you to focus on what matters in your videos. It's a game changer for content creators or anyone who wants better audio quality in their videos. It comes with the Tensor G3 chip, and that does a bunch of cool things. It makes answering calls more human-like. It can summarize web pages, fix your spelling, and help you with your texts. The battery is 4,575 milliampere. It'll last you around 9 to 10 hours when you're browsing the web. Google promises 7 years of updates for the Pixel 8, which is awesome. Most phones get fewer updates. The Pixel 8 is a pretty solid phone. It looks cool, has a bright display, and its camera can do some cool tricks. It's not the fastest out there, and the battery life could be better. But it's future-proof with lots of updates. If you like a smaller, more affordable phone, this one's a good pick.